Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, there was a bit of a weird start for me, because, I don't know, out of nowhere, this time loading up the game was very slow. Emulator, you know, because I am poor and uh, lack the capability of uh, owning the thing. <laughs> I tried to change expression. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. Everything is being weird today, it seems. Everything. Uh. I'm very weirded out. One second. Today is the day of things not wanting to work properly, it seems. I fear it might be an omen. But yeah, I loaded up the emulator because uh, and it was slow. Which was weird, because there's like a setting to make it go, ah, load the shaders f f to increase performance or something. It's weird, I don't fully understand it. One messing around back in the olden days of pain, when the gra graphics were fucked up. Uh, that seemed to help. But I went ahead and like updated the emulator. And there seemed to be a weird thing where, like, the first time through, there's a bit more lag than usual. I went and fought uh, some random Risen just to test things out, make sure that they was good, didn't seem to... It was a bit of weird lag. Oddly enough, none of the magic. That's usually what causes the lag, but none of the magic this time caused lag. I think I, my computer's just haunted today. But either way, last time we crashed half of our fleet into the hole of the Valmy's fleet, or at least the fleet that came to fight us, then we took a port. And, that, uh, and we also, I believe, gathered up the last of the future children. So, will Barracks experience the weird lag? See? That never happened before. Now we're doomed. Doomed, I say. What's this? Finders Keepers? Dying Blaze. A nice fiery nuke if we need it. Why does everyone look at me funny when I make buck teeth? Mom lied! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's a continuation. I like that. Our foes have grown strong of late. Mayhap we could join our might in the next battle. Alright, we'll sweep up the enemy of my curses and your skills. The dark mages scare me. I've often wondered what drives you. Do we have any dreams or aspirations? I dream of becoming someone's hero. I want to protect the people who matter. A decent dream. Uh, who left this here? Uh, now I guess I'm supposed to pick it up. Is that it? Uh, it's a superior axe. Sure, I don't think you can use it, but it's a good axe. But yeah. Now let's go to the Mila tree. See if we can free the voice of Naga, I think. Our new swordmaster talked about. Let's go and see. Chapter 16, Naga's voice. I was close. I just mixed the words around. <sighs> oh, I don't think I've ever felt so small. Mm. I don't even see the top of it. I see. Most impressive indeed. So the shrine hides all the way up in its branches. Right. Hi, sir. A great staircase inside the trunk leads up to it. What is this, the Great Deku Tree? However, the Empire has closed off the only route to the steps. Or perhaps roots to the steps, I should say. <laughs> then we'll just have to break through. Come! Don't know why I just said come. It's just like, come on. Probably be better. Let's see. Who should we bring along? We should bring along, along of people. Our monster Donald, definitely. We'll pair chairs. We'll have Jerome take lead. Let's see. Maybe we should bring in Morgan more. Have him some do some stuff. Hmm. I have a feeling that we should bring Sairi just because... Ah, she's relevant. Hmm. Decisions, decisions on who should I leave behind and who I should take. Is there somebody else I wanted to bring? I, maybe we could bring Vike so he could just rain devastation upon our foes. 
sure. Let's do that. All right, let's view the map. Ooh, very nice. The water effects look nice. Some bullion to take. Beast killer, master seals. Lots of people dropping stuff. Just Valmese. Lots of dudes. Lots of monsters. And yet another guy who will refuse us to move. So it doesn't seem like there's too much, except that we need to be careful with our flyers. Or else they'll get annihilated. And we have a decent amount of people that we can bring. Let's see, who should pair up with who? I think we'll pair Jerome up with Vike. Let's see. And then maybe Nah with Donald, because we can. We'll pair the Swordmasters up, because we can. Let's see. Maybe Morgan and Yarn this time. See how that goes. But then Lucina and who? And then, yeah, I guess Pan and Shersh as well. I think that's a good idea. Let us begin! What? So they arrive at last, eh, what? Yes, come closer, said the hairy spider to the flies. General Cervantes, Lord Excellus was right. The Elysian League approaches. Are you deaf, boy? Did you not hear what I just said? Yes, sir. A thousand pardons, sir. They must have some skill to make it this far. But no matter. We will show them the meaning of the word fear. I don't like that the music cut out here. And I just realized there's two different emblems. Ruffians. Ah, there's three thieves and then gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Huh? The meaning of beard, sir? Uh, yes, I'm sure they would be most impressed, but perhaps... Fear, you deaf ignoramus! Fear! Yes, sir, of course, sir. Sorry, sir. They are impressive, though, aren't they? My whiskers. <laughs> I've not shaved since my very first battle. And have I ever lost? No, not even once. Ergo, my mustache makes me invincible. It's science, my boy. Science. I almost like him. Too bad he's a bastard and needs to die. Let's definitely pair you up. Pair you up. Let's pair you up. Let's see, who has better movement? They doesn't matter. So let's see. We have teams of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one side will be without aid. I feel like the right side has a bit more, so... These four will go this way, these three will go this way. Hmm. But let's take note of all the archers, so they won't get bonus damage. Like, anybody who has bows need to be really worried about. And maybe beast killers as well. Yeah, anybody that has a bow who needs to be where it seems to only be two. It's hard to tell sometimes. The gladiator looking motherfuckers sometimes have bows and sometimes don't. There. Alright, I don't think anything is all that bad. And let's have Morgan get some fighting in. Sword time! Ooh, I like the area. The battle area is so nice. I wonder if Fire Emblem Warriors will look even like half as, <laughs> like, 
fantasy and cool, or if it'll just be boring battlefields. We'll have to see. We'll blast you with a bow and give us that, s that beast killer. Get annihilated. I suppose you tried. They really didn't. They stood there and died. Because we are gods. And we'll let Na take point. Let's see. Steel sword this man. Save our silver for real enemies. Good job, Longku. Mercy friend. He is not a mercy friend. He just murdered a guy. Hmm. Let them grab this, because we can, and we'll let Lucina... Well, let's see. Who has more stats? Ah, they're actually kind of comparable. Hmm? What do we have here? A superior bow that you cannot use. Because you are a fool. Man, we'll let... I guess we'll pair them together as well. You'll have... Let's equip your lance just so we can have that and that. You dare to fight a dragon. <laughs> a human blocks an attack for a dragon. That's just an amusing sight to me. No, dragon, get down! Time to get sorted, gladiator man. He's not even attacking you, Yarn. You tip the scale. He keeps saying the thing. And you missed. Now time to get speared. Naturally. Who's next? I got a silver sword. Nice. And because we're entering danger zone, we're going to smack you if... I guess just a steel axe. Die. Give me your bully on. And your soul, apparently. I wonder what the max health in this game is. I'm going to guess 99. Let's just blast this guy. Magical transformation times. I still love the color of her form. It's so good. I like that they differentiate it so much. Make it look nice. And you got a speed wing. You fool! You have come to die! Even if you'll do six damage. You fail! Morgan and Yarn are being a good team. Got a mend! Man, we'll move that away. Darn it, he doesn't have his magic equipped, so he's doomed. He's doomed to dance. <laughs> yes, come reinforcement, said the spider to the other spiders. What reinforcements, I ask of thee? Hmm. Guess we'll let him get the kill. Give me that pendant and die. I just saw the crystals that were out there in the background. They look nice. Is it over? 
You cannonball the guy to death. I think you broke all his bones. And blast him with a bow. My bow is stronger than your bow. Now die. Can you even use that? You can, actually. I'm not send that back. Go ahead and blast this guy, just because we can. Again, they see giant rabbits and dragons, and they're not running for the hills. I think they're all insane. Stand together! You are going to get stabbed by royalty. You're going to get obliterated by loy royalty. Ah, you could. <laughs> I don't understand. Like what? It must be the calculations. Like that guy had 12 damage. He, if he hit, he could do 12 damage, but he had no chance to hit. Now that guy, he had chance to hit, and so he did. I probably should have given you some health ups. You could have used it, because you're lower on the list. Bastards. 30% chance to do 3 damage. You are going to get obliterated out of the sky. Eat the horse, armor and all. Again. At least with Donald it makes a bit more sense, because he's a goddamn monster. Again, I was going to say, if that hit, I would be pretty upset, but again, like, I'm annihilating these poor people. Their souls are wilting away before my very eyes. I don't think I can get that upset if, like, oh. Well, I guess they're stuck forever over there. Sure. Sure. Smack this man away. Eat his horse. I wonder if that's like a thing that happened in the past. Where they like, well, we killed a lot of them. Let's bury the men and eat their horses. Like something like that had to have happened in the past. It's hilarious. It's like, I'm invincible, my dude. You were like... You were, like, m voted most likely to die in the past. Let's see. I need to use my sword more. Steel sword. Time to get stabbed. <laughs> Again, the petal blossoms are so nice. So nice and pretty. Get Ignis, bitch. I think that's exactly enough that you needed to kill him in one hit. You would have done a double attack. Ah, there's the reinforcements they were talking about. I guess we'll head back the way we came and, like, meet up with the enemies. So they can't, like, uh, super come down on our dudes. Hmm. Since it's likely for us to be attacked from afar. <laughs> Come on! Fight us and die! I forgot I, he, his, ax, his axe wasn't equipped. Oh well. 
It's Vike. He's immortal. Again, this is just overkill. You're gonna burn that man alive. Granted, that's the point, but still. And got a steel bow. Time to stab horse. I swear, you could make like a Smash Brothers type game purely out of Fire Emblem characters. They kind of did that with Fire Emblem Heroes. Why not do it again? Excuse me, I'm just going to shoot you out of the sky so you can't do anything. Bye bye. Well, I suppose you tried. They entered the battlefield then immediately died. I don't think you can say that they tried at all. Come over here and grab this because we can. Teach worked in a little practice. <laughs> Not that it's needed. Stab this guy because he's in need of stabbing. And now I'm imagining, like, I guess tech. <laughs> my brain went like, hmm, what if there was like a. Uh, an XCOM kind of game, but it's just like, that's kind of redundant because this basically is. In a way. There's like no cover. Oh, well, technically there's cover. There's like forests and stuff, but like. It's not what you classically think of when it comes to, like, the current age of XCOM. There's tiles and movement and... But there's not really no flanking or anything. I keep forgetting to put on his goddamn axe. Are they just going to keep coming? Is it, uh, defeat the commander? It is. So basically, we're just going to not bother and just sit, <laughs> kill people along the way, but uh, walk back to where we want to go and decide who gets the kill. I'll just snipe you out of the air. Hmm. We won't bother to, like bother with him. We'll just walk away. Place him there in case he wants to come attack. You have made a very bad mistake. I do like the 3D environment stuff that they do. And it's, a, it's kind of amazing because you can turn it off. So many other game developer people are like, no, I made thing. You must look at thing eternally. That is overkill. I'm going to do precisely four damage so that you die. Not a damage more. Like eventually they have to stop coming. But this could also be used for practicing his proficiency with a bow. Kill you with a bronze sword, even though I have better swords. Die to weak metal because you are pathetic and a loser. I shall blast you with arc fire. Overkill. Wholly not needed. But we have a concoction. Let them keep coming, you know, let them keep coming, then they'll die, then they'll die, and then they'll still keep coming. I wonder if that's like the gimmick for Valm. That they like eternally have reinforcements again and again and again and again and again because they have that one million soldier statistic. 
so they just have reinforcements every single turn, maybe. You have failed terribly and must now die. Double flamethrower. <laughs> Success, Morgan says over the burning, screaming corpse of his opponent. <laughs> oh dear God, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I'll go ahead and shoot you, because I can. My bow is better than your bow. Well, actually, no, I keep you there. And you can stay there as well. <laughs> But I guess they also wouldn't want to make that, like, oh, reinforcement, reinforcement, reinforcement mechanic. Because then people could just super grind in a normal mission, so. I guess I could understand that as well. Alright. We're gonna have Lucina get the kill, so we'll surround her with... Just gotta plot out where people will go. Okay. Area's plotted. I'll let Yarn take that. Na be there. Mother be there. And now time to stab with a spear. We'll do Falcon. Well, actually, uh, let's use the rapier. We have a rapier. Let's kill him. My whiskers are safe against you lot. Victory is inevitable. I do like that they give some enemy commanders a lot of personality. That is not how you use a rapier. Yes, but how can this be? My invincible mustache! Blasted science, you have played me for a fool. I almost feel bad. But I got money. So I don't feel that bad. Fight. Mary, what fighting? I almost pity the enemies of Elise. Listen. Sayri, do you know the way up the shrine? Right. Aye, sir. Follow me, and let us be quick about it. Uh, uh, how many stairs are there in, in the case of stairs? Because I'm already sick of this stupid staircase. <sighs> the voice truly lives up all the way here? Where are Lady you? Tiki, are you here? Prithy the answer! Ah, my, ah, my lady. I'm so relieved to see you're all right. Um, so, you're Lady Tiki? She who speaks for the Divine Dragon. Huh? Marth? Oh, Mamar, is that you? Huh? My name is Lucina, my lady. Though I did go by the name Marth for a time. Might we have met? No. Alas, no. I'm sorry, you reminded me of someone I knew. Are you actually a character from, like, the games Marth was from? So, like, did you, like, is the land of Elise, like, I'm trying to think. Could the first Exalt have been, like, related to Marth somehow? Was that his game? I don't know. I've never played Marth's game, or Roy's game, or Ike's game. But that would be neat if she actually was in those games. That makes me want to go play them and be utterly suffering of anxiety while I play them. But he is gone now, lost during my endless sleep. Hey. You and your father of the exalted bloodline, are you not? Yes. Yes, my lady. Yes. Do you yet possess the fire emblem? It should have been passed down through your family. I, yes, I have it. <laughs> ah, what a relief to know it has not been lost. But where are the gemstones? I see only Argent. Oh, is this from Sacred Stones? I know that's one of the games. Gemstones? Well. Yes, there are five of them. Argent, Sable, Ghouls, Azure, and Vert. Is that... Act I'm trying to remember how the Fire Emblem Shield looks like. 
I'm I'm beginning. I wonder if it's like if there are like two more like spots, or if that's what it, the the like the shape of the slots on the shield were. Each holds a portion of Naga's power. When mounted upon the fire emblem, they allow one to perform the awakening. Roll credits. So that is what it it's like shaped like. Interesting. I see. The right by which the first exalt channeled the divine dragon's power. Yes. The very same. With the fire emblem's power, the exalt was able to defeat Grima. But such power was too much for men, and so the gemstones were scattered. I kept Azure here with me. Right. My kingdom had safeguarded Vert for generations, but the gem was recently stolen by Walhart's men. Um. Milady, do you know where the other two gemstones might be? <sighs> the remaining gemstones, Sable and Jewels, Ghouls, are no longer known to me. They may have been taken long ago at the time of the schism. Regna Ferox was founded during the Schism, as were most all nations in the realm, I believe. Wait, does that mean you guys have one of the gemstones, Basileo? <laughs> ha, as if anyone would entrust the oath with such a thing. Actually, it's true. We did keep one. Ghouls. Did I never inform you? You most certainly did not. Hmm, must have slipped my mind. Regardless, yes, the West Khans once safeguarded ghouls, but it was lost long before my lifetime. Hey. Here, take Azure, Exalted Ones. With it, you possess two of the five gemstones. Now you must seek out the others and perform the awakening. Our world must be defended from Grima at all costs. What? But I'm confused. I thought Grima's power was sealed away. Yes. Yes, but ever since, there have been those who could change that. Grima's life force grows even now, and with it, the long shadows of despair. When will he return? And where? I cannot know these things, but I can feel his presence. It looms closer and closer. This task is a heavy burden, but he, but as he of exalted blood, it must fall to you, Krom. I understand. Thank you for all your help. Interesting! Oh, that is what it is. So cool. <laughs> we owe you a great debt, milady. Ah, uh, you. You have it. Huh? What? Listen. You have power like mine. Uh. I do? I, uh, forgive me. I'm still groggy from my slumber. My word out words outpace my thoughts. Mm. Are you all right, milady? Yes. I am fine, just very tired. I haven't the strength to join you in the fray. Not yet. Oh, so, so will you join in later? Interesting. But I will call the people together in prayer for an end to this conflict. So now we have entered the Final Fantasy era where we gotta collect some gemstones. But I wonder what she meant. I have the power. Does that mean, like, again, I'm theorizing the, like, hand tattoo we saw at the beginning in the first uh, cutscene after the premonition. I'm, I'm assuming that that is basically, because, like, the exalted bloodline of Elise have their, like, brands that show up. And I assume that's, like, the brand of Naga to denote their power bloodline. But then there must, I assume, like, the the tattoo on the Avatar's hand, our hand, is the brand of uh, Grima. Maybe. Factions of the Resistance are already uniting in answer to the voice's call. Soon bards will sing of this day, they who conquered the conqueror. Good. A tune I'm most anxious to hear. Mm. But a man like Walhart will not roll over dead at the first sign of trouble. Aye, my lady, as you say. He will muster his forces to put down the rebellion. Then his gaze will turn to us. Against his full might we would not last long. Listen. Where is armies garrisoned? The Valmy's Imperial Army is comprised of three main divisions. One controls the north, one the south, and the third, the lands between. Emperor Walhart commands the northern forces. Their might easily exceeds our own. The south is led by my brother, Yin Fei. His host is said to rival Walhart's. Divisions, are they? Hmm. Oh. 
I see a plan brewing in those eyes of yours, Neon. Um, if we could divide their divisions, disrupt communications, supplies, etc., then introduce misinformation to add to the confusion, a whisper here and there, the panic would spread on its own and all the quicker for their great number. Such a giant force would collapse under its own weight. Right. Sayri, the third division, stationed between the other two. Right. Aye, sir, at Fort Stygar, halfway along the high road. In fact, not so far from where we stand now. We might stand a chance against them, but would take speed and luck. I wager Walhart and Yenfei will hear of our exploits soon if they haven't already. I suggest sending the bulk of our army to the north and south to mask our plan. An elite force led by Sir Krom might then quietly slip through to Fort Steiger. What say you? My say I. Right. I. Fi. I, I don't know how to say that. Fe? Fi. We could all be dead before nightfall, yet not one of you so much has hes so much as hesitates. Your courage is an inspiration. Aye, we will win this war yet, by gods. We still have to worry about Grima. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let's do some support. Now he and me. Hey, Neon. Look what I got. Whoa. My, that's a big snake. Did you catch it yourself? Okay. Yep. But only because of your rock throwing lessons. Oh, and to thank you for all this help, I want you to have this. Huh? But this is your shiny rock, your most treasured possession. <laughs> oh, I'm not that fond of it. Besides, I'll just find another one. Right. Well, that's very generous of you. Thank you, Naoi. So, hey. Say, Neon, you're a good teacher. Is there anything else you can show me? Wow. Well, how about trying your hand at field cooking? You know, campfire cuisine? Frederick has just started teaching me the basics, so I'm not very good yet, but... Okay. That's perfect! We'll practice together and be gourmet chefs before you know it! <laughs> With that kind of enthusiasm, we just might. <laughs> And now we are dying. That's well, it looks edible, at least. Whoa. At least? I think it smells totally scrumptious. Mm. The proof is in the flavor, which, I don't know, looks like it could fall anywhere between mud and toenails. So, hey. Neon, what are you mumbling about? Let's hurry up and eat already. Yeah. All right, here goes nothing. Munch, munch. Yum, yum. <laughs> See, it's delicious. It came out just right. <sighs> it did, didn't it? Thank goodness, Frederick is such a good teacher. Mm. No, you're a good student. I wish I could remember things as well as you. I've lived a thousand years, and what can I do? Nothing, that's what. <laughs> Don't say that. You've got time to learn all kinds of things. And of course, I'll help if you like. Ah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Neon. I like the little, like the platonic goings on. It's very nice. <laughs> Those guys are hilarious. Eating dinner as a big group is so much fun. Oh, if I'm stuffed, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Hey. Oh, hey, Yarn. Hmm? Oh, uh, hi, Morgan. What are you up to all by, off by yourself? The rest of us just finished dinner. You're a chipper, as always. Huh? Yarn, is everything all right? If you're not feeling well, I can get you something. <laughs> no, nothing like that. I'm fine. I'm just surprised you can stay so cheery all the time. The war's got us in constant panic, and you're an amnesiac on top of it. How do you do it? Well, I never really stopped to think about it. I guess I was just born this way. <sighs> well, I'm jealous. I bet you're all smiles in the middle of combat, too, huh? I can't even imagine wanting to fight, even if I were all, all bubbly. I've got your back. Well, maybe you wouldn't be so scared if I stuck close and kept you safe. You... What? you do that? <laughs> it's amusing that both Lucina and Morgan have the same thought process. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. We're in this thing together, aren't we? I'm happy to do what I can to help. Hey, well, Morgan, thank you. I really appreciate it. If things get hairy out there, I'll be counting on you to save me. You can do this. <laughs> it's a promise. So when Lucina does it, he's like, no! When Morgan does it, he's all fine and cheery. What? Um, hey, that's Nah. Why is she all hunched over? <sighs> ah, are you alright? Hmm? Um, yes. Should I not be? <laughs> you were hunched over. Are you sick? So... No, I was praying. Huh? Praying? Mm. Yeah, like this. You close your eyes, see? Well, keep yours open to watch. Great and wise Naga, heed my prayer. And then you offer up your prayer. Naga is an incredibly important deity to the Manakeets. If you pray to her, she'll guide you to happiness. I see. Wow, sounds impressive. She must be awfully busy. Yeah. Yes, but she still takes time to speak to my kind every so often. Really? That's amazing. <laughs> she spoke to me just now, actually. Wow, what did she say? Kids your age shouldn't stay up so late. 
<laughs> Your god's a real mother hen. So, um, can I ask what you were praying for? I wished for happiness and peace in the world. And did she respond? Nope. No, she never does when I ask for that. I see. Uh, I see. Maybe that's her way of saying we shouldn't rely on divine intervention. We need to build happiness and peace with our own hands. Wow. Hmm, maybe so. That's certainly a very Morgan-like interpretation. You're always so gung-ho and optimistic. <laughs> Better to have more hope than less, I always say. Mm -hmm. No arguments there. That's neat. I like these little conversations. They're very nice. I like it. The characters are good. Well, off to Fort Stygar. Chapter 17. Inexorable Death. In a, in a, inexorable? Inexorable. Oh my. Damn, look at those walls. This isn't going to be easy. All right. It's not the walls I'm worried about. It's the hordes of Valmese inside them. No. Our best bet is a swift surgical strike right at their heart. If we can strike down their commander, the fortress will be ours. So, Con Flavia, your men will take the forces surrounding the castle. That should create an opening for a smaller team led by Krom and I. I regret to say that will put, uh, put you at the forefront of the battle, Sir Krom. Mm. I wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> then it's settled. Other resistance forces are on the way. With luck, they'll arrive in time to help. Let's cleave them a proud trail of Imperial blood to find us by. Ooh! So we do create, like, strike teams for going down individual paths, it looks like. And there's a door that opens up. Ooh. So I'll want Gaius. Definitely, because there's treasure chests. Tre looks like both Anne and Gaius. Because, let's see. Where is the dude? That motherfucker is able to fortify all across the map, but it doesn't look like they're going to move. And it is a defeat the enemy commander, so we could take our time if we wanted. Hmm. Let's see. Because we need Gaius and Anne to efficiently get through it. So I'm going to say goodbye, Sairi, and goodbye, Longku. And we'll throw Gaius and Anne. Where are you, Anne? Anna. There you are. Now let's move characters around, because... Let's see. Hmm. So Yarn and Na can go together, because I just wanna. I guess Pan and I can go here. Let's see, is this way... Technically heads there, but there's also, like, the treasure... Like, the door here. So... This team could swerve and head directly to the treasure chests. But at the same time, this team could also kill them, meet up with this team, and head that way. Which I think that's what we'll do. So, and we'll replace Donald. Gaius can be over here. Hmm. I would say this looks good. Let's fight! Hmm. hmm, such arrogance. They truly mean to assault Stygar in such meager numbers. Perhaps they expect a woman's garrison to be a softer target. <laughs> when I'm through, they'll wish they'd been challenged in Fey instead. Battle stations! Darn, so close. Also darn so close. We'll head over here to kill you. And we'll pair together just because we can, because these guys will come for us. I'll use my steel sword just because I can. 
nice interiors once again. I really like it. Get crit. Again, it would be terrifying if the enemy could do the exact same thing. We'll blast you so that we can make greater time. The smack talk, Jesus. Won't kill and will actually... Ah, hmm. Darn it, we probably should have given you someone. Hope they don't come kill you. Pair you and you. Let's see. War monk or hero? Let's have Battle of the Heroes then. You have a sword? Well, let's fight with swords. Donald the Monster is here to destroy you. Jerome the unpracticed with lance is here to kill you. I really need to equip your goddamn axe again, Vike. Every single time I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot to do it. And then I do it. Let's see. War monk or hero? Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll. Annihilate you, because I can. Say goodbye. And now let's watch Anne get annihilated, maybe. Good, you missed. Now die. Which just means that the next one is going to attack her. Because they're mean. Luckily, this dragon can snack back. Eat your soul. <laughs> it's squashing time! I like that Na has an attitude on her. In the middle of combat, she's like, aha, I'm gonna annihilate everyone. Ah, damn it. You're ranged. And you missed, idiot. So this guy is gonna come up here to try and steal the stuff, huh? Well, there's no having that. Annihilation. Let's see, what do we need to train you in? Well, let's train your sword. Goodbye. He really didn't. You would have killed him either way. And we'll quickly swap so that we can equip his steel axe, and then swap again. Hmm. We'll move up. Swap so we can just blast them and be on our way. Be obliterated in the face of dragons. Same thing, blast of dragon. And 
got a men. And since there's ranged people about, we'll swap to her since she has her bow out. And we'll stay behind so they won't target Anna. You fell into my trap. Now die. Through walls, somehow. It's in my opinion that if you can't fly over a wall, you shouldn't be able to be shot through a wall. We'll blast you. Be annihilated, Valmy's man. Get sold and crit. We'll swap to you so there's better. And once again, uh, we won't go in, because we're not crazy. We'll swap... Actually, they're the same, but... Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Man's on your ass, Mr. Thief. You won't escape. Let's see, who's faster? Which I guess means we should kill you with Bowman. To make it easier on us. Hmm. And this is precisely why I put her in front. Because I knew you'd be tempted. Now die. Critical lethality is just an oxymoron. Like, unless it's a boss, like a super boss, I don't think there's anything out there that would survive. Huzzah! How far will you run now, Mr. Thiefman? Go ahead and blast this guy, because he's ugly. Soul is activating so much, and it's so beautiful. Why is he running around in circles? That's weird. and smack you with an axe. And I forgot to put her spear back on. Darn. Here I come, little thief boy. Get stabbed. Get annihilated, more like. Doesn't seem to be much to worry about, so we're going to, well, first things first. We'll place him here so that he can help. And we'll let him blast a fire. He won't die, but hey. Maybe he will die. You tipped the scale. He really did. That guy probably would have survived if he did intervene. Well, let's see. Who's going to attack? It's you. So we're going to have her be up here wielding her sword. And Anne will be there to help. Ready? 
time for death. And Beyblade. We brought Thieves, so we don't really need it. So we don't have much to worry about, so... I guess we'll have to steal bow. Just gotta go fast, or in this case, slow. You have come to chosen death. Get ignis, fool. Double ignis, fool. Double ignis, crit. Morgan just decided that he'd be a menace today. You picked the perfect person to shoot, because now he'll kill you. And now you're gonna get crit from a bow across the world. Just as planned. Again, I love the 3D environments they made for the fighting. It's just very nice. <sighs> Meanwhile, you have come chosen death as well. Again, can't fly over the walls if they can attack through them. Just think it's a little clunky and weird. So, Krom, I hear movement from the floor below. It may be reinforcements. Be wary. Ah, so this is where the reinforcements come in. Door. Let's see. Are you ranged at all? He kind of is, so... Considering that there is no diddly-dees up there. I guess we'll just grab the sparkly more than to stop reinforcements. Returning to the past helped me find my dreams. What are yours? Not going extinct! Poor boy. Poor, poor boy. And we're gonna quickly put the bronze lance back on. Get handstanded. Well, actually, this will be slightly more efficient. Grab. Boots! What do boots do? Permanently increases move by two. Oh! Oh, that sounds fantastic! That sounds absolutely magical, yes. I can make anybody super fast if I want them to. Don't take a, sh uh, a slow person and make them fast. Don't want to make a faster person even faster. Well, actually, slightly more efficient to do this one. Master Seal. And then I'll just skip. Fight. Our comrades! But wait, how? What? The Resistance had already infiltrated the castle. <clears throat> Nay, impossible. Something is amiss. The fuck? Oh, it appears I'm just in time for a rebellious reunion. Delicious. Please do forgive your friends your warmest welcome. Just remember your promise, or you can be sure I will remember mine. Sayri, are you certain their reinforcements are from the Resistance? Aye, sir, I'm ashamed to say I am. I know some of them by name. But why would they turn cloak against us to now? 
Oh, it seems we've touched a nerve. I do so enjoy an appropriate touching. Freak. Motherfucker. Now be good little servants and scrub the strongholds of these Elysian filth. What? What is this meddling, Excellus? What? Meddling? Why, General Pharos, one might also mistake you for ungrateful. This meddling is going to save your post and quite possibly your life. We've no need for your politics here, schemer. I can handle this myself. Really? Why, yes, of course you can, General. I can see you're doing so well already. You're obviously just waiting to crush the Lysians, toying with them like a cat. I only brought these rebels so they might learn from your shining example. They were so anxious to join the cause. Because you threatened them, tortured them, or perhaps their families, their villages. <laughs> I would not wish to burden you with such mundane details, good kid general. You have more important matters to think after and to deal with quickly. But rest assured they are quite motivated. Feel free to thank me some other time. Odious freak. He has no honor. Just the sight of him makes me sick. He is the war he's the worm, yet I'm the one left squirming. Bah! True his interference may steal our seal our victory, but he'll never hear me say it. Well, I'm kind of glad that I waited. Those individuals must be purged! Traitors to our cause will be purged. Oh, sure. Hmm. I wonder if there's, like, a way to get them back on our side. Probably not. But it is kind of sad. It's just like, what do I do? Are they doomed forever? Because they showed up as green, then they turned red. So it's just like, meh. I wonder. Poor fools. It's actually kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, that even their own ally is just like, no, it's not good at all. Not at all. So it's just like, ah. Yeah. Poor schmucks. Wow, large bullion. Let's see. I'll leave them here just in case. Well, let's see. We have a lot of movement, so we'll move over here. You shall be obliterated for your traitorness. Traitorous worm! Many a traitorous worm. Go ahead and blast you. Show them exactly what they deserve for betraying the cause! I mean, are you really expecting these guys to keep their word? They're like, oh, they're threatening my family. They're gonna kill your family anyway, dude. They expect you to die, so they probably already killed your family. There is no reason to trust them. So why do you? Is it because you are a fool? It's probably because you're a fool. But this just gives me more murder on my hands. More experience. Time to stab. Stabby, stabby. Spear Aether time! <laughs> this slide just so is so funny to see. Then we'll kill you right up close and ugly. Well done. 
Are you all traitors? You might as well be, for you will die all the same! But I think now's the time to begin working our way against these guys. Diddly 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 diddly. Yeah, go ahead and grab that. They probably they probably won't spawn on you. He really has. He literally has you. Now once again I need to decide who should get the killing blow. You have come to get stabbed by a spear? Very well. Again, that attack anim- the secondary spear animation from Aether. This is so amusing to me. Well, good thing I left my my bow on. We are an elite force, after all. And now they're blocking our way in. How dare you. Let's see, can you survive? No, you cannot, so, uh, run away. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, this turn at least. Time to stab. I wonder if it's possible for Ignis and Aether to activate at the same time. Probably not, but I think it would be hilarious. What? No, that's not what I want at all. Eh, you can come down here and kind of deal with them. Defend Anna. It's over. Indeed, it is. Oh, you fuck. Definitely send you. Now, let's see. Who do I want to get the kill? I think we'll give it to Yom. Darn it. I went too fast for my bones. Well, let's see if they make a mistake and activate the kill. You have to. S oh, good. Sword is activated. In the name of the Conqueror, you shall not take this fortress! Can't even hit with lava, lady. And you missed, idiot. Let's see, what is his hit rate? Not all that good. Eh, why not? It's a normal sword. But alrighty. Let's see, who should go? Definitely Lucina. And then Morgan. Well, then again, maybe Jerome. Jerome could be interesting. No, not transfer. Swatch. And attack. 
Annihilate this bitch. Annihilation indeed. <laughs> well done. I may not live to see Walhart unify all mankind with my own eyes, but I've seen it in my dreams, and that is enough. You literally worked alongside a torturer, fucked up schemer person, and you're saying, oh yes, unite humanity through murder. Then again, I guess that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of murder. No. Stygar has fallen, but I'm afraid our new enemy has the fortress surrounded. <clears throat> new enemy? You mean the rest of the former resistance? Aye, sir. Words cannot express my shame, my regret. Finally, I succeed in uniting them, but only against us. Sire. My lord, dire news! Our forces to the north and south have been decimated by Walhart and Yinfei. What's worse, most of the survivors have turned their coats for the Empire. But our troops numbered in the hundreds of thousands. The Empire must have had more. Or perhaps been better trained and equipped. Blast Walhart and my brother. Where are their armies now? Yes, sir. Marching toward this fortress, milady. It's only a matter of time. So much for fortune favoring the bold. This war was lost before it even began. All our struggles until now, and we've yet, we've yet to make so much as dent the Empire. Krom? Hmm? What is it, Neon? Do you have something to say? We need to leave here. Right away. Have you lost your wits? We're surrounded! All right. When the ar other armies al arrive, then we'll be trapped for a certainty. If we intend to escape, now is our best chance. Right. She's right. The dynasts outside betray us only out of fear for the Empire. They'll only put up token resistance without their masters watching. Right. But we can't keep running forever. How do we hope to turn the tide? Yeah. By striking at either Walhart or Yin Fei before they join strength. <laughs> either one seems a death sentence. Nay. One general would be upon us before we could finish the other. I agree, which is why we attack both. Our army lies in tatters, yet you would divide it by half? I didn't say by half. Krom would lead our strongest troops against Yenfei. Meanwhile, a smaller force would attack Walhart. A smaller force? We couldn't defeat him with double our entire number. I didn't say we defeat him. We need only distract him. Hmm, spend some lives to buy the other team time. The smaller force would face our most dangerous mission yet. We would need a leader of unparalleled skill, reckless bravery. All right, Krom, please. You're embarrassing me. I'll do it already. Just stop with all the compliments. This is no time for japes, Boss Leo. The stakes could not be higher. I am being serious. I'll lead the squad, though I prefer my stakes well done. That's just his way, Neon. Bad jokes come with the bravado. But the elf clearly has faith in your thinking, and I as well. All of us do, I'd wager. Somehow you always find a way to best the odds. Right. Then it's settled. I'll make preparations and be off. The rest of you stay with Krom and keep him safe. Don't you die, Boss Leo. I haven't had you as, like, a controllable person, but I like you. Godspeed, Boss Leo. Stop! Lucina, what are you- I'll keep you safe. I cannot allow you to go, Con Basileo. You will die in this battle, I know it for truth. What? What? Oh, you know, lass, you have a strange way of saying goodbye. All right then, who is it? Who kills me? Is it Wallart himself? Please say yes, it'd make a poor song to die about the end of some farmer's pitchfork. Yes. Yes, it was Walhart. Or so goes the story I heard. We must change our plans so fate cannot take this course. All I needed to know. Thank you, lass. I'll be careful. You're still going? But I just told you. Aye, I heard you just fine. But someone still has to stall his division from advancing. If he's the one that kills me, 
Well then, I'll just avoid confronting him. You don't grow this old and handsome without knowing how to avoid trouble. But don't no, you... it's never that simple. Listen. Don't worry, love. He'll be fine. He'll have to. He'll have me to keep an eye on him. You aren't coming, woman. You're the reigning Khan. I thought you'd intend to survive this oath. Ragnar Ferox has two cons, and now you're responsible for both. I dare you to die now! <laughs> all right, all right. You can come. Oh, well, that's all right, Krom. Yes. Just look after each other. Leave it to ha! Me. I'll bring this big ox back on a leash if it comes to that. Right. Luck and more be with you all. We'll meet again soon. But please, your future. You must... Please yourself. Not another word. I fully intend to outlive all you sprogs. Just see if I don't. And as for your future, it can kiss my big brown Feroxy ass. Yeah. Plus, being told that he's at risk of dying is pretty good. It makes it better for him. Now he's extra careful. Fall back and form up! Don't let them scatter us! Easier said than done. Their cavalry is riding right over us. We can hold our ground. I'll show you how a real Froxy fights, woman. Ha! Huh, did I hear you crack in your voice? Is that fear in your eyes? God, never. Let's give these kettleheads a taste of our barbarian roots. Now that's the oaf I love. Enemy soldiers there. Walhart. Jesus. They're swatting our troops like flies. Is it some kind of elite cavalry? No, wait. Gods, it's just one man! What? You there. Do you command these forces? Ah, oh, crap. And you did, idiot! You fool! He's gonna live with one HP. You were told not to do it! Ha! Such strength! Is he even human? Impressive. You're the first since Yen Fei to survive beyond a single stroke. I don't... I don't stand a chance. Flavia! Everyone run! Run for your lives! I'm not leaving you here. He's a demon woman. I can only keep him busy while you escape. Damn. Looks like the last was right. I think I... not. What she said. I'm here, and that means events can be changed. Damn you, Oaf, you're not getting away from me that easily. No. Hell yeah. But he's still gonna attack a second time. Oh, crit, but it won't do much, because... Ah, uh, goodbye. Boss Leo, no! Boss Leo! Uh, Flavia, give this to Krom. Is this the gemstone? Right. You have to survive. Give it to him. Give it to him yourself, you one-eyed clod of a man. I'm not going anywhere, neither are you. Fool woman, I'm finished. Don't let it be for nothing. For once in your life, just do what I say. Go. Go, God damn you, go! Why did he have it on him and not give it to Krom beforehand? I suppose it's entirely possible he could still be alive, but just very unlikely. He got a big hit on the guy at least, but Jesus. Alright, <laughs> what do you said? Okay, that one had to be a secret Togwell focus technique. Nope, still just a sigh. Huh? Who sighs that aggressively? I thought you were channeling energy to smash a boulder or shoot fire or something. It won't be the last time I disappoint you, I'm sure. 
Jeez, you're a real downer, you know that? So what's the problem? Tell me. Manikeets and Togwell are practically cousins, so I'm sure I'd understand. I was just thinking how much I hate fighting and how I wish the war were over already. No problem. Sounds like someone needs to get in touch with his inner warrior. Hmm? What makes you think I even have one? Mm -hmm. You're a Togwell. Your people have always been fighters. The same as us Manikeets. If you, if you can tap into that innate clan instinct, you'll be a whirlwind of death in no time. <sighs> but it's also up to me to keep that clan alive. If I die, we go extinct. I agree, that's a weighty responsibility. But this war could just as easily kill you whether you fight it or not. What? And this is supposed to encourage me how? Yay. If you're tr not truly safe either way, why not stop worrying and fight like a Togwell? Mm. If it were that easy to just stop worrying, we wouldn't have be having this conversation. Yeah. Grow a spine yarn! Gods! I'm half your size and I'm fighting! <laughs> yeah, until you turn into a dragon, then you're nine times my size! You know what? This is dumb. We're not the same at all. Plus, there are other Manikeets out there if you uh, if something happens to you. So quit talking like you have any idea what it's like. <laughs> nah, look, I'm sorry. I should go. Yarn, wait. Ooh. See you around, I guess. Man, that one's just going. I'm going hard. You. Ah, is that the smell of your famous carrot stew I smell? I hope you don't mind if I sneak a taste before dinner. Oh. No, Pan, wait. This is not for... <laughs> Oh dear. I'm so sorry, Pen, but I messed up the recipe on that batch. Everybody said it tasted off. Well, actually, they say it tasted like last month's dishwater. Hmm. It seems perfectly fine to me. Huh? You've got to be joking. Please. Togwell never joke about food. Nothing seems off here. It tastes exactly the same as every other time you've made it. <laughs> it does? You mean all the stews tasted like this to you, and you ate them? Togwell taste buds must not work like ours. Or at all. You. Would you mind if I had a bowl? Hey, take the whole pot if you want. No one else will touch the stuff. Oh. Many thanks. You are truly too kind, Neon. Super, ha <laughs> super happy to hear you say that, Pan. It's kind of an odd end, but sure. Hey, hey Jerome. Have you been taking care of little Mi Minervikins? I did not call her that. The very idea is ludicrous. You must have misheard. Huh? Ah, no need to get your small clothes in a twist, Jerome. Cher sometimes calls her Weapon Minervy Kins, too. Eventually, I picked up the habit as well. Oh, uh, right. I knew that. <laughs> you know, you're adorable when you're flustered. All right, all right. No need to glare. I didn't mean nothing by it. Apology accepted. Oh, eh, thanks very much, Your Grace. I gotta say, seeing you so angry reminds me quite a bit of Cherish. What? What do you mean? No, or nothing. Hey, is that your Minerva over there? Yes. It is. Yeah. Uh, more intimidating than Cherish is scarier, more ferocious. No. Truly. In the future, people oft remark she was the prettiest wyvern in the realm. Just look at those big, smoky eyes. She's such a cutie poo. Uh, I mean, uh, you tricked me into saying that. What? I didn't trick you into nothing. You said it all by yourself. That's it. I'm leaving. We're leaving. Minerva, to me! Eh. <laughs> <laughs> It was really adorable when he's flustered. <laughs> that's a that's hilarious. I just remembered Basileo's dead. More than likely. Small chance that he survived, but he's probably dead. Then again, like, the only other major character to die story-wise was Imarin, right? Sure, there was that weird like, noble who betrayed Elise to Plagia a long, long time ago when we were taking Imarin to the second castle. But he wasn't important. The only named character that died story-wise... Well, there was also Gangrel. I guess. But he died in battle. I don't know. I just... It feels like... It feels like Basileo would have more. But he could be dead. Oh, well. The Demon's Ingle! Let's go! Chapter 18, Sibling Blades. So I guess I should probably bring... Yeah, you. No. Just as I thought, the Turncloaks only made a show of opposing us. We're clear of them. But Yin Fei's forces approach swiftly. It won't be long now. Right. We should hasten south to meet them and distance ourselves from Walhart. This battle will be challenge enough without the Conqueror breathing down our backs. Another concern, the dynasts who betrayed us. They attacked us and let us go both because it suits their purpose. Should they attack us from behind as we battle Yen Fei, it would be an easy victory. 
They would curry favor with the Empire without risk of entry. This is how they think. Hmm. We cannot defend two fronts. We'll need to choose our battlefield carefully. Sayri, that mountain. I've seen it smoke for hours, but I see no trees on it anywhere. Nice. What? Ah, that is no forest fire, sir. It's a volcano. Have you never seen one? That one is called the Demon's Angle. It is known and feared by all people of Valm. Few dare even get close, lest they anger the wicked fire god. Hmm, Neon, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Only if you're wondering how quickly we can reach the volcano. Go, go to the demon's angle? Do you know what you're saying? Right. I'm saying your opportunistic former friends wouldn't dare risk following us. And we can use the flames as barriers to limit how your brother's army approaches. Hmm. And my brother will still come. His stubborn pride will force his hand. Right. Then it seems we have our strategy. So Tis, a Tis a risky plan, but I can devise none better. And you two seem to be a peculiar talent for performing miracles. Alright, first things first. Uh, dang it, I wanted to just manage my inventory. Ah, manage. Can't do that, darn. Let's see. Ah, bah, bah, bah. equip, no, uh, where is it? Inventory, there it is. My brain was uh, melting. Don't mind me. Alright. We should probably give you another dragon stone just to be safe. Your stuff is looking good. And let's give you another beast stone to be safe. You can keep the concoction. I'll take that. We won't be using you for this fight. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay. Select units. Who are we gonna take? <laughs> and who are we gonna leave behind? I would say. We'll leave behind Sherish. At least take Sairi, and then we'll probably pair her with Donal, so she'd get a boost. But actually, thinking of that, uh, just to boost up Sairi a bit, we're going to give her some stat-ups, just because we can. Hmm. We have Tiki's Tears, so let's use at least one. Don't want to use Naga's Tear, because it's permanent. We'll give you a Draco Shield... Yeah, we'll just give you a bit. A bit of stuff, since we have a lot. Nah, we don't really need that. There. Just bump you up a bit, so that you're less likely to die. Alright, view the battlefield. There's a lot of chests, though. Damn it, so we're gonna... Huh. Well, first things first... Where is Sairi? Sairi's here. Good, good. But let's see. We have Gaius already planned. We need to pair Anne up with somebody and take somebody out. I guess take out Morgan, put Anne in. Alright. Let's see. And we'll go with Vike. Well, actually, and we'll go with Jerome to gather up those. Hmm. Let's see. Well, then who would... Well, actually, no. Then we'll move him over here, but for who? Uh, placing our two assassins together feels like a waste. Hmm, then maybe we should move Vike out and put someone else in. Like maybe bring in Cordelia. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. That should help. And then they can also fly over to grab things if we want. I think. Yeah, and then we'll pair her either with Krom or with Donald, just because Donald is a monster and annihilates everything. Great, it's the creep. What? Why, General? Such a melancholic air about you today. Whatever is the problem? I wonder if I'll be able to convince the dude to join. Because, like, it's his sister. But the only thing I can think of is to have Siri attack the dude. So, hmm. That's the most I can think of. If that is even a thing. And dear god, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, is today the day you face off against your beloved sister? Dear me, of course it is. Well, then, of course you'd be in a foul mood. Harsh. She is a rebel and a traitor to the Empire. I have no sister. Really? Oh, very good, very good. Right out of the book, General Yen Fei. And I commend your acting ability. Very convincing. I think your men all heard you. In any case, I'm so glad I can trust you not to take it easy on a ragtag little troop. Yes, we both know why you'd never let any of her comrades escape, don't we? Oh, I know it must be so difficult, General, but I think of it this way. You still have a family, a big one! The whole Imperial Army is your family now! Well, I should run to a li tell your little sister I say hello. Ta-ta! Bastard. Oh. I'm going to guess that we need to run fast, because the hazard is going to pile up like crazy, I feel. Alright, let's see. That would give a lot of bonuses. Yeah, I think to you... Hmm, well, actually, it doesn't seem like it would change much either way. But I still think Donald, because Donald just would probably be best. Which leaves Nowie alone. For Nowie. Well, it's barrel head, I guess. Blast this Valmy's paladin! Again, I love the environment! It's just so pretty. Hmm. Well, I think it would just be, be safe to do this. I shall strike at you with a silver lance! Carve through the Imperial Army. I keep forgetting you can do that. Go ahead and grab that. Why are you smiling like that? It's my silly name, isn't it? Uh huh. Are you kidding? I have because you look strong enough to save me in a pinch. Hmm. Yeah, let's just level up your lance some more. Show that weapon triangle who's boss. Or is it just random? I think that's showing us what will happen if we don't get moving. Good. 
<laughs> Good, we killed a guy in a lava planet. And that you did. With fire somehow. Against fire. How do you do that? I'm going to block the fire of my body and that will do no damage to any of us. Get out of here. Wait, I just... I'm going to assume that, like, the... Crumbling rocks have like start points and stuff and then they slowly grow out to encourage you to move forward that's my at least my guess and it shouldn't be like random places that would be mean or maybe they begin cracked and like maybe they crack and then like hey if you don't move this turn it will become danger maybe I don't know we'll have to see it's time to get sorted with Ignis power. Again, the petal blossoms. It's so nice. It does seem like it is following. <laughs> it wouldn't have hurt Krom if he just stayed there. That's hilarious. Hmm. Yep, it looks like he has, doesn't move, which is good. Hmm. Trying to think. Uh, who should kill who? Because we need to kill this guy. Because maybe we can switch and get her some experience. We need her nice and safe. But she has a concoction. She has a concoction. Kill him. Plus, you need to level up as much as you can. Get that proficiency up. Just gotta keep moving ahead as quickly as possible. Let's see. We'll move the slow ones first to... Keep things nice and soft. Ta-da. I think he did the same thing with him. Didn't damage him. You have chosen a very poor target to attack from afar, because they can smack back. Your army will crumble beneath the power of rabbits and dragons. And one assassin rabbit, but that was out of necessity. You come here even though you can't even deal any damage. And you're gonna heal from this. Again, I love the smack talk. Kill that griffin. All these Griffin Riders are making poor decisions today. <laughs> I'm poor young to go extinct! Poor boy. An eternal pain in his suffering. Although this, this does mean that we have to be super fast. And we'll swap just because we can. Come here and open the chest. Eh, not the greatest treasure, but oh well. Arc fire! Get ignis fool!
Yeah, I'll just stab you because I can. Level up for the Jerome. Kind of have to go super fast so we can get there to attack the boy without taking too much damage. Your horse will be fed on upon by Bunny. Booyah! And you gotta kill our lance. Not that he can really use it, but hey. Yeah, good job, man. How many more will sacrifice themselves to my army? Protection and a combo. Good job. Why'd you fly over to do that? It's, it's a weird decision, man. He just attacked. I'm not worried. And then he got hit. You, 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 you jinxed it. Catching up. I'll blast you from afar. That is overkill to the extreme. But nice. Ah, oh, that works. Because now we can come here, swap, and grab this chest. Come here and smack you, because we can. Hmm. I guess since we've activated this, it means that... Hmm. Can't go over the land, though. We're gonna, we'll go ahead and kill this guy just so we can, and then next turn we'll grab the chest. Now we'll move up because we can. Well, actually, we'll move here. And we'll swap back so that things are safe. Come here, we'll swap so she can get some experience. Grab that. I tried out some of Father's sword moves and smashed a hole in the wall. Success? Yeah, because he did that back at the palace, didn't he? Oh, that was fucking close. Good block. And now Annihilation. Darn you if you're throwing axes. Darn you if you're range. Darn you if you're range. At least you didn't go attack the poor bunny man. He needs a break. And a level up for Gaius. Of 
Ah, good. You can come up here. Grab that. Hmm. Before we do anything... First things first, we just need to kill you. So, sword time. Sucks to be you. It's Ignist and Crypt at the same time. Go ahead and smack you, because we can. Hey, thanks. Hmm. Because if we kill him, we can backtrack. Let's see. Darn you. Well, we'll take a bit of damage, we'll kill you, and backtrack. Unless we have to end our turn. On the land. Oh, that's sweet. And open chest. Ah, oh, shit. I guess you can go ahead and kill him, and then everyone else will move forward. Because it does seem to be some sections that aren't actual danger. Crumbling's game faster. see how badly she'll do against him. Silver Sword, she'll actually do pretty decent, actually. Kill him! Brother, I won't ask you why. We are well beyond that point now. I will speak it plain. I cannot forgive you, and neither can I let you live. What drivel? I've asked you for nothing, sister. Least of all your forgiveness. But you will have my justice, like it or not. You who stood by in silence while everyone around you suffered. While villages were raised and fields and fields, while villages were raised and fields burned, you watched but said nothing. When father and mother were murdered, you said nothing. Nothing before you ran to the arms of the one man responsible for all of it. Your silence was deafening, maddening. Even now, have you nothing to say? Yinfei. Damn you, Yinfei! Then I will make your sword answer for you. Draw your blade and let it sing your final words. I wonder what his deal is. Like... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oh. Like... Walhart said that... 
Bossolio was like not uh, like one of the it's been a while since somebody survived an attack from him so I'm going to assume that Yin Fei survived an attack by him and that's how he went there but goodbye Sairi, you have grown so strong. Do, do you mock me? I've seen your best sword play. That was not it. You went easy on me, but why? What I could not tell you in life, I say with my death. Yinfei! But Yinfei! Sairi. You have found strong comrades. I no longer need fear for you. I die in Yinfei, wait! What do you mean? Why? Don't leave me with more silence. Not this time. Yinfei! A part of me is going to be haunted, wondering if... No, I don't think you could have recruited him. I don't think... Because, like, individual enemies with names that can be approached, yes. But he was a boss, and it was defeat the enemy commander was the win condition. So I'm going to assume that this is scripted, that you can't recruit Yin Fei, that he is dead and gone. Not after they had all that there. Goodbye. Amatsu and Noble Rapier. Our victory is secured. Yin Fei has fallen. I'll never understand why he joined Walhart. His reasons die with him. That's also another thing. I don't think you could because they're like, oh, this bitch. <laughs> but yeah, basically, I'm imagining that you can't do it because of how the story is structured. Like, I don't think Lucina can die. I don't think Krom can die. I don't think, like, the Avatar can die. Like, I don't know who can actually die, die. Like, maybe Frederick, maybe Lissa. But... When it comes to, like, recruitables, they're always side characters. Yin Fei was a boss. So I don't think that they, like, again... Because it's easy enough to, like, sweep, like, a side character. Like, Farja or Gaius. Like, it's easy to sweep them under the rug. Should you accidentally kill them instead of recruiting them? But a whole boss? No. Especially since they mentioned it specifically and are mentioning it more. But oh, what a death it was. Did you see the grief etched on his face? The mix of longing and pain in the eyes. He had become such an accomplished actor, but that was all too real. <laughs> Excellus, what would you know of my brother, you loathsome toad? What? More than you, Princess of Chonsin. And I would watch that mouth of yours. I am honoring Yinfei's sacrifice by not killing you now, but even I have limits. What? What do you mean, sacrifice? Oopsie! Did I just spill the beans? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I promised your dear brother I'd never tell. Fine. Explain yourself, snake, or die! Really? Bah, as if you could harm me! You only live by my grace, you ungrateful wretch! I could have killed you countless times, and I would have if not for him. Enough talking around it. Say what you mean. Oh, did Yin Fei not groan out the truth as you cut him to bloody pieces? No, I suppose not. He was always so quiet and proud. Honorable, I think they call it. Yet he swallowed his pride and cast aside his honor. All to protect his beloved kin. That's right, little sis. He did it. To save you. What? Lies! You're lying! No, I'm telling the truth, which I admit is a rare treat, so you best shut up and enjoy it. Before you met these Elysians, I could have had your head with a word. In John scene at Valm Harbor, did you really think yourself so elusive? You were my leverage for Yin Fei, unwitting and unbound, but a hostage all the same. And I let you live. He fought for us. That was our deal, and he kept his end right to his end. No. No! 
you. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel much better after having that off my chest. Maybe I'll give you this truth try, you know, try more often. Yes, I shall resolve to do so. In any case, goodbye, friends. I wish you safe travels and so sorry about the end. Hey. Oops, I broke my resolution twice already. <laughs> what a weird little fuck. No, this isn't. This can't be. Yin Fei, no. Man, that's gotta suck. Sorry. God, the things I said to him, the things I did, I've wronged him beyond imagining. Man, they laid it on so thick that a part of me wants to, like, believe you could go and save him, but no. I don't think you could. Unless you have, like... Because the thing is... A part of me wonders why he didn't abandon his post the moment that she joined with the League. The Elysian League. But, like, yeah, why... I guess it could be that since he threw away his honor and his pride, he kind of wanted to die... That could possibly be it, where he felt after serving Walhart as much as he did, so good as he did, just to save Sairi, that he felt he didn't deserve to live. If he'd only spoken, told me, I could have joined the ruse, I... Milady, I know well the grief of losing family with so much yet unsaid. I am wretched. How could this happen? I've repaid my brother's kindness with death. Oh, Yenfei, forgive me. Please, oh, please, please. Sairi, I... I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Sairi, you did all you could. Your brother knew that. You are blameless in this. Excellus and the Empire at fault here. And they will be made to answer for it. I promise you. So, Krom, I friend. pray forgive me. You have done so much for this land, while I can give nothing in return. Or worse, what help I offer turned against us. Hey. We're the resistance now, and we've yet to lose a battle. Yinfei would be proud. And he'd also want us to fight on, and make sure his sacrifice has meaning. And fight we will, Sairi, until this land is free. Hi, my, my lady, and thank you. I owe my life to you all and to my brother. I swear to you and to him, I will make the most of it. Jesus. Let me guess, Basilio dead. Sire. My lord, Con Basilio, he he has been killed in battle. No. God. Damn it all! You're certain? I am. He's gone, Crom. I saw him fall myself. He's gone. Damn it! Flavia, what happened? Wait, you're hurt! Lucina, fetch a healer at once! I'll be fine, gods damn me. Gods damn me for outliving that one-eyed clod, that big bald oaf, that... that... Ah! That's twice now I've failed. I'll kill him! I'll cut that dastard Walhart down myself, I swear it before the gods! No, Flavia. For now you need to rest and to heal. When the time is right, we will avenge Basileo. You have my word. Then know that I will hold you to it. Why did I let him go? Krom, there's something else. Something important. Basileo asked I give you this. Again, how did he have it when he said that it had been lost before his time? Wait, is that? I feel its power resonating through my whole body. It's ghouls, one of the gemstone you need. Don't ask me why in hell's name the elf hid it from you. He always did love his surprises, damn him. Right. I think I know why. Because he knew that it was possible that he would die. That's my theory. He held on to ghouls, jewels, whatever. And... Because he felt that he needed to have something to have Flavia to run away with. Because he felt 
like, a situation might arise where, yeah, they might ha basically lose leverage, in my mind. He knew that Flavia would probably come with him, no matter what, if he went on a dangerous mission. So he wanted to have something important to send her running back to Krom if things turned bad. Because if there was no reason to run back, she would have stayed and died with him. But with something as important as one of the stones, she would probably run back with it, even if it hurt a lot. Nah. Whatever his reasons, I accept his gift now, and gladly. It's hard to believe he's truly gone. The larger the man, the larger the void left in his wake. And Khan Basilea was a titan. There is no replacing him. I should have tried harder to convince him. Three stones. Uh, I wonder who else will have the other two that are lost to time. Lost to Tiki. No. The scouts have reported back. Walhart's army has retreated to the Imperial capital. <laughs> retreated? Right. It seems the Dynast Turncloaks are withdrawing their soldiers as well. I don't believe it. Steiger and Yenfei have fallen. It's no shock Walhart might pull back to regroup. And forming the dynasts... And of course the dynasts now see cracks forming in the Empire. Really? Maybe they'll reconsider which side they'll fight. Nope. They will... Technically, yes. Because they considered fighting for us. And they betrayed us to fight for Walhart. But now they're kind of betraying him. To kind of sit by and see who's going to win this scuffle. Is what they're doing. Possibly, if they can see an advantage in it for themselves. With them or not, it seems a decisive battle is upon us. I... To think how quickly our fortunes have shifted. Yeah. We have Basileo to thank for it. For all of it. His sacrifice made it all possible. If only had there been some other way. <sighs> no second guessing! Basileo would have hated that. You did your duty as best you were able, same as he. Now clear the doubts out of that clever head of yours. We're going to need it. The fate of Valm and all our homelands hangs on this next battle. Let's make a scene. For the sake of history and all our fallen comrades, we will bring this empire crashing down. Listen to me. Shepherds, comrades, soldiers, we make for the capital. This conqueror's reign ends now. Ooh, a paralogue. I was going to end on the story chapter, but we can end on the paralogue instead. I wonder, what shops doff we unlocked? Dragon stones and bee stones. Eh, not too, too much. No supports, fine enough. Just one diddly D. Hello, you're in a good mood. Find a new weapon you like. Um, no. Wait, you actually see me? <laughs> That's how he... He's gotten so used to it that he's shocked. Alright, first things first is... You need a new sword? Let's see. Ah. Myrmidon class only. Huh. Let's see. Give you a silver sword next. And we need to use up that killing edge then. Let's see. Because you have D now, which means you're, you can move up to iron lances, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to save, and then we're going to do this paralogue. It's the first paralogue since all the super, like the future children came. Divine Dragon Grounds. Let's go and do it. Paralogue 17. The Threat of Silence. Are they going to go kill the voice now? As vengeance for her betrayal. Hmm. <sighs> the air is sweet here. It's so calming. Right. Makes you want to just flop down and take a huge nap, doesn't it? <sighs> Tempting. Hmm. Odd. It seems like anywhere else to me. Now. 
This is Naga's cradle. It is said the divine dragon once called this place home. Here the voice will enact a holy rite to commune with Naga and regain her power. Oh, are we going to recruit Tiki? Um, Lady Tiki. Huh? Lady Tiki? Fight. Pray be silent, my lady. The voice is currently performing the rite. In doing so, she will draw the divine dragon's power from the land unto herself. <laughs> Forgive me, I didn't realize. I thought she was sleeping. <sighs> she looks so peaceful. What do you think she sees? Does she perchance dream? <laughs> hey. I imagine see. I imagine see. I imagine she... Uh-oh. Is that what I think it is? Sire, Lucina! Enemies approach us from the south! We better get ready or the voice here is in for a rude awakening. Roll credits? Well, let's take a view. So yeah, it seems like this is just a survival. <laughs> Basically block off everybody from attacking Tiki. Is what it probably is. So it seems like there's one there, one there, and then a whole fleet coming from the bottom. And it's route the enemy, but they're probably gonna get lots of recruits. Probably gonna get lots of recruits, alright? Select units. You two get out of here. We're gonna keep Sari so she can level up and stierf. Stierf. Hmm. I guess we'll bring Libra in and pair him up. Doesn't really matter, it feels like, so... Let's fight! It begins. The voice is defenseless in this state. We must become her shield until the rite is complete. We wait your strategy, Neon. Make us... Uh, make us as a wall of steel! Yeah, because I think it might be better to have the characters literally form a wall to take up more space. And I'll have to do for now. Again, I'm going to assume that they're going to... Yeah, get reinforcements. Time for blasting. Face the power of the dragon! Booyah! I'll move ahead, just wants to smack him. Because the stat increases aren't really that important as much as making a wall to force them to crash into us, I'd say. Is it over? In fact, we could probably move more to the front to guard. Yeah, I think this. Come on and fight then. Go ahead and smack you down. Get out of here! Because if we can... Just gotta smackety-smack these guys down. Our thongs are strong. 
because I think pairing up would be a poor decision here, because we need to get as many attacks as possible to bring down these guys as much as possible. Come up here and blast you. I wonder if this is kind of a pseudo tutorial of like, hey, maybe teaming up isn't like the be all end all of what you should do. Maybe keeping them separate but pairing them up side by side is also a viable strategy. Again, that makes me wonder if there's, like, a, a challenge run out there that never uses the pair-up mechanic. Ah, oh, crap, that guy didn't die. Which luckily means that the boy comes in clutch. Why did that sound like Raiden from Metal Gear Solid Rising? Revengeance. Revegians. Because hmm. I don't... I'll send Neon out to smite this guy down. I feel like. Like, maybe I should send out everybody to begin chopping down, but... Hmm. I think chopping down some of them to clear the way might be a good idea. They're not out to attack me, unless it's a counterattack, so I don't think I have much to worry about. Your fate. He's dead. He has no choice but to accept his fate. Are you high? Take the Silver Lance, you witch. <laughs> ah, that works. Die. Gale Force, saving the day. Except she also takes a lot more damage. I wonder if I should send somebody out to kill the boss. Because it does say route the enemy. Are you ready? Thank you. Yeah, let's use the killing edge. Get out of here. In fact, if I really wanted, I could probably march my units up to, like, get to... I think everything should be safe. Yeah, I think I need to send someone to kill that boss. Damn it, I shouldn't have brought some of these people that I did. Yeah, Silver Lance. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Blast you out of the sky. We'll move up slowly.
blast you down. Get sorted, risen man. He blasted. Blasting a blasting. I swear if you miss that 1%, I will be very angry. Good. Get arc fired. Thank you. I shall use the killer axe. Ah, huzzah! Oh, double crit. Here we go. Get sold. We'll just attack them one by one. I think this guy might live. Fuck. Please crit. That would be nice. Well, somebody did crit, so yay. Works for me. And we'll just keep using the Parallel Falcon to keep these guys at bay. Good. Just like Zelda. You killed me! Good. All things considered, we probably should move up as a united force against the bigger ones. Well, that ain't good at all. Breaking these guys down. And get to that boss, presumably. Break down this guy. Blow you out of the sky. Risen must really want her dead. You know, just for these ones, because these two are very weak. Let's break these guys down. Like, either it is get to the boss and uh, that'll help, or it is just, like, survive wave after wave after wave and then kill the boss. Hey, I'm alive. That you are. Lots of leveling up for you. At least this side should be nice and protected.
She has a lot of health, so hopefully she survives. Damn it. Well, let's pray. Good. That should help. And plus, if out of all of them to leave alive, the bottom one is probably the best. Because now, hopefully, it'll have to spend another move to get up there. Huzzah. Blast this fool from the sky. Show them the power of the dragons. Noe. I keep saying Nawi, I think. Aha! Just can't get there. Oh, fuck, now the boss is on the move. I'm gonna blast you out of the sky. Nagas, winch, kill, force! How about I kill you instead? Voice. Uh, 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 no, you don't get out of here. Boom. Huzzah. So you're back? Mm. Are you unharmed, Lady Tiki? Thank you. Yes, thanks to you. I apologize for the delay, but the ride has borne fruit. Mm -hmm. You've taken in the power of the Divine Dragon? Yes. Some of it, yes. It's strange. This power had always isolated me. Many were the days I wept alone, cursing the charge placed before me. Lady Tiki. <sighs> but now my power has a purpose, and the world needs it to avoid a ruinous future. And so I shall offer it freely. Allow me to join you. Don't you see? Are you certain? <laughs> I am. I've had quite enough of living in solitude, thank you. Besides, I've always longed to be better to be that to better know this world. Now I can help you save it. Booyah! So now Tiki has joined us. And this place is just sells like very good magic, it seems. But alrighty then. Next time, well, first support, and then next time. Let's see how Lucina and Yarn A rank goes. Are you alright? Huh? Yarn? Uh, Holy cow, it's your leg! Did you get that trying to protect me? No. no, I was just a bit careless. I uh, let my attention slip for a moment, and they were quick with the blade. That's all. It was mostly healed, besides. You didn't even worry yourself over it. You're a terrible liar, you know that? After my arm got hurt, you've been guarding me non-stop, it's obvious. What happened to you, to our promise not to do anything crazy, hmm? Oh, uh, I didn't... Don't be mad. Mm. I'm not mad at you, but I'm furious with myself! It's all right. Yeah, no, don't be. I really was careless. This is no one's fault but my own. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Is something funny? <sighs> it's just... The two of us taking hits for each other. Then we both protest that it's all our fault and that the other shouldn't feel guilty. I don't know, it just struck me as funny. Where's some pair you and me? <laughs> I suppose it is a little bit silly. But a part of me thinks that that way it should be for our al- That's the way it should be for our ally- uh, Tongue, voice, work. That's the way it should be for our allies. You think? Right. Sure. Hel helping each other, making sacrifices. Accepting responsibility for our failings and helping each other learn from them. That sounds like the ideal ally to me. Mm -hmm. And you put it like that, it does. I guess we're doing pretty well. Right. Very well, I should think. You can continue to count on me to watch your back. You got this. And on me to watch yours. 
Oh, sweet. I might just A rank them. Perhaps, perhaps. And that is all the future children. But I do believe that that shall be it for now, but... Mm. Or I could just go all the way and decimate the Valmy's army, go to 19. You know what? Let's go crazy! But first things first, inventory. Dragonstone, Beaststone, we'll take the Killer Lance and store that. Make sure that everybody has good shit. That's a good one. For you. Could give him a Killer Lance. We have Killer Lance's galore. Let's give it to you. Mm, we'll keep Syrie in the army just cause. Just cause. And we'll just keep giving pairing her with good characters. But now we have Dragonstone Plus? What? What? Allows a Medikey to assume powerful form. Might 12. Range 1 to 2. Oh, we are bringing you. Oh, we are bringing you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are bringing you. Well, yeah. I say let us go and finish off the Valmy's army. Valm Castle Approach, Chapter 19. Chapter 19, The Conqueror. And we're just stood outside the castle? <laughs> Where is his army? No. no sign of them yet, my lord. Is it a trap? Hmm. I feel like it might be a trap. Hmm. Or are they risen and they're going to fall from the sky? I don't like it. They could be buying time. <sighs> buying time? Waiting for what? Grima, maybe? <laughs> the fools have no idea what they've just stepped into. <laughs> You're alive? I thought I killed you. Mm, the anticipation before a battle. My hairs stand on end, every one of them. Makes it difficult to brush, if I may say. But today's struggle will set the course of history once and for all. Today's struggle, Cervantes. I think you mean today's slaughter. That's the spirit tactician. What? No, I... Uh, I just finished explaining this to you. What is wrong with your ears? The resistance will destroy itself. You and I needn't so much as lift a finger. The Elysian League thinks the diners no longer fear us. But they don't understand how persuasive my methods can be. <laughs> They'll know once they see their former friends with knives to their backs. What? Chives and flapjacks, you say? The battle is won before it started, and without us risking any further casualties. <laughs> Brilliant if I do say so myself. And really, no one else is capable of judging. Ah, oh, well, T. Cervantes. I have a stash of grey root blend here. Simply divine. Why, Excellus, thank you. It is quite a divine stash, isn't it, eh? What? You imbecile stash, the T. The, oh, why do I even bother? Uh, if only there was someone with the intellect to appreciate my talents. Pointy man. I wonder what class he is. Cervantes. Yes, my master. Who is the pinnacle of man in body, mind, and spirit? Who is greater than the gods? Only you, my master. Well, Excellus, that seems to contradict your last statement. What say you? M my master, I assure you, I meant to offend. I only celebrate achievements in your service, Master, to your glory. Glory is won on the battlefield. Glory is meeting your enemy's eyes and watching the hope drain away with his life. Glory is not won holed up in a castle with plots and cowardly schemes. And I'll be dead before I let some dynast farm lord take today's glory in my stead. Oh, why, yes, of course. It's so well put, my master. <laughs> I only meant that. Just turns around and walks away. Hmm. 
That sick mind of yours sees much, Excellus. That much is certain. But for someone so clever, you really can be quite daft. What? You dare speak to me like some child? Like your equal? <laughs> your equal? No, fear not. I'll never see my... I will never think of my you as my equal, worm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I would shave and wax up before the fight. Is he going to betray them because they keep kicking him in the balls? That would be hilarious. Maybe betray them to Grima, maybe. Really? Broom-faced twit. To hell with him. With the both of them. <sighs> now, Excellus, keep your wits about you. They're all you have. Besides good looks. Let Walhart charge ahead. The big stupid lobster. I'll end up on the winning side one way or another. <laughs> Called him a big stupid lobster. So he is a conqueror class. The Dauntless Emperor of Vom wields swords, lances, and axes. Soul. May absorb HP equal to half damage dealt. Oh, fuck. Protects from bonus damage against beast riders in armor. Jesus. There's just, like, uh, ruined buildings. So many, like, uh... I'm going to assume that these are going to, like, activate. Alright. First things first. Gaius. Libra. Throw you guys out. Bring in Vike. Hmm. Bring in Lunku. Alright. Basically, we're going to divide up the army into... Three teams. One team will kind of march up this side, taking out these guys. One team will march up this side, taking out these guys. Then, of course, we'll have the main team going up this side. Well, actually. And that leaves one person without a partner. It needs to be someone who's strong. I guess Donald will be without a partner. And we'll pair these two together. Then up here... Longku, hmm. Yeah, Longku will go with you. You'll go together. Hmm. Well, actually. Yeah, I think this will work out well. All right, save. Begin to fight! Really? That's him, isn't it? Walhart. Brave of him to face us. Right. Brave, I. But more likely, he just wants to enjoy this himself. Ooh, art! You do your sister's legacy proud, Prince. But humanity already has a savior. A conqueror who broke stronger men than you when they refused to bow. Warriors of Valm, ride with me now! Together we will stamp out this final pack of insurgents and unite the world. You have not heard of Grima, have you? Also, I want to see, how many uh, stat points do you have? You're not that scary, probably because of all the grinding that I did. Yeah, 
epic music that's playing is epic. Hmm. Blast him with the dragon stone. Let's see your dragon form. Is it just the same as... Doesn't look that crazy. Still looks nice, but... Hmm. Let's see, which one of you has better defense? Uh, 28 plus 8, 30 plus 6. So you're basically the same. I'll let him uh, take charge, because he's... Well, actually, he can attack, but then he would leave him open to counterattack, so we're just going to leave him. Blast him with dragon. Goodbye. Ah, oh, he survived. That's why we have steel lances. That is overkill to the beyond belief. I wonder how many reinforcements will flow out of these diddly dees. I have a javelin button. Killer lance this time. Increase that crit chance to annihilate these fools. Revenge time! 69, nice. Oh, it's playing music. It's playing nice music. I still find it hilarious we brought a literal child into the war. Blast him with dragon. Huzzah. Well, let's let him have it. Damn it, why are you hitting now, bastard? Now die horribly, hopefully. Oh, and hopefully she'll double heal because of the castle and her ability. Or is that a different drive, Pegasus Rider thing or anything? You fool! Haha! <laughs> Annihilation for them all! I should have read it, she's new. And they're all coming for her now, jackasses. Get blasted. Blasted again. And stabbed. Hello there. Let the teach teach you something about death. Why do you not go after Donnie? Because he's just that much of a monster. You are doomed. You have my gratitude. <laughs> they went all the way. Why? That's hilarious. Booyah. You. you bastard. Don't you fucking dare. Whenever I see a flying character be targeted by a bow, I'm just like, you motherfucker. Be 
Lots of motherfuckers of range. And this is Huzzah for Vike. He's just immortal. Schmiggity schmack these guys who are all charging to their deaths. I'm gonna be. I'm when I gain control. I need to remember to go and select the boss man, just so on the offhand chance that I I don't want to accidentally invade his movement area and for him to charge at me. Don't want to risk it. So many ranged people. How dare you? Prove yourself. Call in the reinforcements. Let the cavalry rain upon them like a blizzard of swords. Well, we need to take all of these so that we have better, like, defense and aid of each other. Okay, now let's read her, her some of her level up dialogue. I miss being in the heat of battle like this. Well, first off, let's see. Glance, axe, axe. Hmm. Eh, yeah, screw it, I'll just go ahead and smack you with an axe. I don't need the extra defense. I'm Vike! And this way, if they come to attack him, they have to fucking fight him. How about this indeed? Almost forgot. Yeah, we don't want to exceed too much. Hmm. Blast them away. And maybe I should send... some of the teams to the help in the sides as well, because I feel like they're going to... Things are going to get kind of crazy over here on either side. So we're going to throw more people in to draw attacks. Get blasted. That you do. I circled the peak and shook, shook the heavens with my roar. Does that count as practice? Sure, why not? Hmm. I'm gonna use a javelin. That way, uh, it can protect me for a while, but also get rid of this guy and keep us in safety. That you can. It'll break after a few more uses, but it will at least aid her a bit longer. Well, actually, let's take a look. Silver Lance, Silver Lance, Axe, Axe, Silver Lance, Bowman, who is too far away to do anything, it looks like. Aha. So we're going to take this opportunity to change back to our Killer Lance and wait. Get blasted. These forts are ours now. You really shouldn't have left them, like, empty. You really shouldn't have. Okay, I understand why you did that. You have probably a greater chance to hit them and deal damage, but you're gonna die. <laughs> they have bonus damage on you. Time 
to die. Sending Lucine over here was a perfect idea. Almost 200. Booyah. Not as much because I don't have uh, the diddly D equipped, but still. Falcon wasn't equipped, but man. She is going to one shot you. I want Dragonstone Pluses. I want Beast Stone Pluses if they exist. Bring out the stones! Good job, Lanku. And a level up for Tiki again. Power level, the voice of the god. Yes, please, throw yourself into doom and gloom and death. Thank you. Their reinforcements are not going to be able to do much, I foresee. Because they, they're already going to be... They'll need that reinforcement more than anything. Ah, healing. You know what? Let's switch and let me take over. Steel sword. My is can that it can. That's strategy. Hmm. Canary's Thunderbolt's about to break. Uh, but it's such a powerful thing, but, uh... We'll take as we go. And move teams closer. <laughs> Donald is our monster of war. He can just run around, do whatever he wants. I, I honestly don't think anybody could kill him. Maybe the boss. But I honestly do not fear for Donald. He is too much of a god. Any reinforcements you want to send our way? Your silver sword will be mine. Except it probably won't, but... <laughs> Why don't we take all the weapons as we kill? Just become walking armories. Have Dawn will run around. Stealing everything. We'll let the enemies come to us. Come on! You can't hurt the Donald. He is a god. Yes, come on. Throw yourself into doom and death. Mwahaha. Prepare to die. I love the combo attacks. I really... Whoever came up with the idea of like, hey, let us have characters like combo with each other. Brilliant. Just a brilliant individual. Go on, Donnie. Kill this guy. You can't hurt the Donnie, he is a self-healing god! 
from a farm did he come? He he is Fire Emblem Clark Kent. <laughs> now come on, send your armies before us. And let me guess, this is a kill the boss round? Defeat the commander. Arc Thunder. Kaboom! I'll move him into place just to lure out enemies. Yeah, I think we should begin moving our characters in to duel him. die before him. The self-healing god will annihilate you. Double soul. He really is. <laughs> Fantasy Fire Emblem Clark Kent. He draws his power from the sun. Allow me to equip a silver sword. Let's see. That is much better, so we shall equip. And we'll swap to that. Oh yeah. I love the music that's playing. And we'll just take it. Yes, come fight your end. Why do you resist me, little prince? You enslave the weak and kill the able. You are the enemy of peace. The music. I would end the reign of gods and you object on moral grounds? Blood is spilled in any new birth, prince. And in many case... Yeah. And in... Um, blah, blah, blah. There are too many A's, my brain says, even though that's stupid. My brain is dumb. And in many a just cause, as you know. What? There is no justification for what you've done. A meager effort. By whose laws do you judge me? Yours? Your sisters? The gods? <laughs> you cannot... Stay. Look at you! Are you not ashamed? Your mind is filled with nothing but second-hand beliefs. You dance upon the stage of your gods like a mindless puppet. That is what I reject. Being a slave to tradition, to obligation, the old ways. Damn the gods. Damn their fates and their destinies. I will have true freedom. Any man who offers less is my enemy. Enough. I don't require every detail of your twisted philosophy. You're a villain and a murderer, plain and simple. I will not and I am the justice you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> better, Prince. Much better. Be not an agent of someone else's justice, but justice itself. Now, let us fight as two great men. Freed of their gods! I grant any challenger the chance to test his will against my own. But you trouble. too shall be found wanting! Oh, he has soul. That's not... Well, luckily he hasn't, uh... T taken any damage. Great Aether! Booyah! 
me who think you have won. You blow as if to douse a candle. But you only stoke the fires of hell! And I got soul! Walhart has retreated to the capital. Fie, will this war never end? Yes. His men gave their lives to secure his escape. They won't lay down arms until he does. Now. Then we must pursue and see that the deed is done. He's not even dead, that's bad. Will you help us? We struck down and now he's on the run. What? Damn, we're surrounded. The Dynas ride against us. <laughs> Hold, sir, look. Hold, sir, look? What do you mean? Are you gonna betray Walhart? He... he lost? But how? How could the Conqueror be conquered? He's insurmountable, incontestable, invincible. But then that means... Oh my, goodbye then! Do see to it that... And he's still walking around despite the ass kicking. Going somewhere, tactician. The master! I, I was just coming to make sure you were alright. Uh, are you hurt? Yes. Rally our forces in the capital. We will put an end to this here. At once, my master. Only have you considered perhaps waiting just one day? I do have the dinosaurs and their men on the way. With them to help us, we. Have you seen the battlefield? No, I suppose not. Take your head from wherever it's lodged and peer out into the daylight, Snake. I'm sure your mighty intellect will quickly understand what's happened. Though if you had half the metal of the that Ulyssian tactician, you'd already know. They turned against them. They see what we're capable of. Master, I don't... Yes, sir. The Dynas, sir, for the Southlands. They're making to siege the capital! But that's... that's impossible! We had an agreement, just like I had with... Oh dear! The Southern Dynasts... Did they find out about Yin Fei? This boggles the mind. Do you recognize them? Aye, sir. They're from the Southlands. States that betrayed us for the Empire. Or so I thought. Well, their allegiance seems clear enough now. I can hardly believe it. Theirs are the lands my brother commanded. Finally now, they come to answer the call? Finally is right. It's taken a lot of hard work to get here, Sairi. A lot of sacrifice. From you, from Basileo, from your brother. Don't forget this moment. The music is so good! Aye, my lady. Aye. Now let us finish what we began. To the capital, friends! Well, shit, I have to continue. I can't just stop there. I have to keep on going. And it also ends on a nice diddly D. So, silver, silver, killer, nice. But yeah, we, I'm gonna go all in. Let's finish this off. Support, Na and Morgan. B rank. Oh, great and wise Naga. Oh, hey, it's Na. She's hard at prayer again today. That should do it. Oh, hello, Morgan. Say. Hey there. Any responses from Naga today? Mm -hmm. Yes, but not exactly the revelation I was hoping for. She asked me for more offerings. Oh, hey, what do you offer a jealous god anyway? Fatted calves and such? No. Naga is not a jealous god. And I was told to bring a flower. Mm. Oh, any particular kind? So. Naga's bell. It blooms once every 200 years and only beneath a full moon. That's what the legends say, at least. I've never seen one for myself. The only grown remote, craggy terrain far removed from human settlement. Ah, oh, that's a pretty tall order. Very specific, too. It's supposed to be near impossible to find. I'm afraid Naga's given me a dozy this time. But you can't exactly ignore a direct request from a deity, right? Say, Say do you want to help looking for it? Hey. That would be great, Morgan. But at the moment, I don't even know where to start looking. Give me a little time to come up with an idea, all right? I've got this. Hey, I'll come find. I'll find some dusty old tomes to read, just in case. So sweet. 
But yeah, fuck it. Let's go all in. Let's kill the god men. No gods, only men. Chapter 20. The sword or the knee? Ominous! They... There must be several hundred thousand soldiers out there! Would they dare? Is it... Is it possible? Is it possible it was Yen Fei they feared all along and not me? Without him to back it up, your threat was only the grand shadow of a tiny spider. Tiny spider, is it? Oh, this spider has woven other webs in secret you could not even... You mean how you blackmailed Yen Fei to keep his loyalty? Or perhaps your correspondence with the Plegian woman? A versa, was it? Yes, I know you have designs on the Fire Emblem. You have no secrets from me, worm. But, but, but I, I don't... If you knew all of that, why? Why haven't I killed you? I've asked myself the same thing several times. But you're no threat to me. And I admit, you have your uses. Besides, I'm not one for court jesters, but you do amuse me. Amuse you? I amuse you like I'm a jester! Are you amused now with a million swords at the door come for your head? You've lost, lost it all, and you're going to die! All of you! All of you! But not me. I want no part of this suicide! Why, Excellus? Did you just volunteer to lead my personal guard against the rebels? What? No, that's... Unless you'd rather fight me right here, right now. Mercy, mercy! Forgive me, my master! In a moment's madness only, it will not return! Then it's settled. We have our new captain of the guard. Congratulations, captain! You'll be right at my side until the fray is open us. Open us? You'll be right at my side until the fray is upon us. And Cervantes is just there. <laughs> Do give our guests a warm welcome, Snake. Perhaps offer them some of your tea. <laughs> my equal. <laughs> This guy's like a shitty star stream. They forget who I am. I could have fried them both if they stood with my magic. We will crush these rebels. We must crush these rebels. Or maybe, if Walhart is sufficiently injured, I might use him with a spell. <laughs> Either way, this spider crawls out alive. <laughs> Snake indeed. Is he gonna go join up with uh, Aversa and Plegia? I think we'll just all crowd in to the main room and let everything else follow behind us. Alright. Now I just need to decide who will go with who. Obviously. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Once again, somebody's going to be left alone, so honestly, it should probably be Donald. Hmm. Oh, actually. Organizing things. And so slightly. Sire and Cordelia will go again. You'll go again. Hmm. But who should go with Tiki? you, then I guess Cordelia and Tiki. There we go. Onward we go. Fight! 
I see Walhart, still seated in his throne room. It doesn't seem like he's thinking about escape. Whoa. And his soldiers, they look ready to die before they'd surrender. One must admire their loyalty, at least. Right. He does inspire that in people. It's part of what makes him so dangerous. <sighs> he inspires that in some people. Mm. Yes, in some, but not me. I think I just realized that there are treasure chests there. On the map. Eh, I don't really care for them. They don't really... Then again, there were the boots, but I don't think I really need all that too much. Cordelia can be on her own, I suppose. Well, actually, hmm. Hmm. I think this team up might be good. Well, let's go. In the late game, you, it feels like you have to have characters paired up properly so that they can, like, uh, do bonus attacks more. Blast of Magic. Say goodbye. Booyah. We'll let the enemies crawl from behind slowly. Blast them away! That's almost ominous. Sleep well. Take them out one by one. Show them true power. No, Fight my army as it comes towards you. Well, that's very rude. Let's have it then, rebellious scum. Like a flimsy belt around the waist to defeat, you shall buckle here! Jackass. You're all very rude, you know. You're all very rude and you're gonna die here. You might have all these fancy ranged attacks, but you're still gonna die. Cover indeed. You picked a bad person to fight. Booyah. Strike him down. I am finished. Uh, but I have no regrets. I die in the shadow of greatness. No, you just die. Allow me to switch and go for a crit. Bye bye. I suppose you tried. 
get assassined. Break them down one by one as a roving band of monsters. Blast away. <laughs> it's almost like he gets like evil and angry when he gets a crit. Come up here and smack this guy to death. Kill him. Just realize the side armies aren't coming for me. I must have ran away too quickly. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to sit here. Yeah, I don't care about you, thief man. Switch, uh, equip a steel bow. Or actually, a silver bow, actually. Yeah, we should be careful. Because, uh, enemies are scary. <laughs> that big band of enemies that are up there. Most definitely. Just an utter wall that we'll have to overcome. We'll empty out the sides as we go, just because we can. Booyah. Good job, Lucina. And this is why I gave him the bow. Because I knew you'd do something like that. Bye-bye. Again, critical lethality amuses me greatly. Superman Donald is here to kill. Donald fears no man, for he is him and he will kill you. How dare you hurt Vike with a 28% chance hit. You monster. Oh, you got a skill? What'd you get skill? Yeah, 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 thief. I don't care. Rally. But no, I don't use rallies for some reason. go face us monsters and fall get sold to death Ready? bye bye slowly march and whittle them down. Oh, 
Booyah! Oh, to majesty! Oh, I forgot she still had the bow equipped. Oh, well. Good job. Donald is just eternally sold. He is Superman. Draws power from the sun because he is unstoppable. Oh, because it's a long bow, darn you. You bastard. Sure, bow people, keep attacking. Over here. Rally every last man. We make our last our stand with Emperor Walhart. Oh, what? Was he a Is that just an activation of oh, they're all gonna start running for you? I assume. We'll blast you, because we can. Your longbow won't help you here. Well, it would normally, but you have, like, no no chance to hurt. Boom! Get obliterated by God. Because the God is a dragon. And then we'll let him get the killing, because we can. <laughs> you go extinct! That's the first time I've heard it. That amuses me greatly. His worst fear is failing and going extinct. So he's like, no, you go extinct. Hey, let's give Donald the ability to kill this guy. Give me your bow. Come fight! Spirit dust, I don't care. Oh! You think I'm afraid of you? Come then! Come at me! That is a dangerous amount of damage. Luckily he hit Vike instead of somebody that would actually die. Love it. Obviously, we're going to have our tactician fight their tactician. It's only right. Bye bye. <laughs> and all the ranged guys keep coming after. <laughs> nah. It's hilarious. Bye bye. And finally, somebody <laughs> going after him. Oh, what? What? How did you do that? Well, is that not? No, that's probably strength. But how did you do that? How'd that guy die? What? Oh, because he his axe broke and he went back to a bow. That's what happened. Okie dokie. <laughs> Move out of the way. Because this guy is slightly scary. Well, tactician versus tactician, except my tactician kicks your tactician's ass. Micah's Pyre. He 
<laughs> bye bye. I don't even think I'd care to have saved him if I could. Yeah, thief man, uh, run all you want. I don't. I don't care. Well, first things first. Activate that so we know. <laughs> I would have gone right to the wrong place. Select my sword. Well, actually, I'll keep Micah's pyre and uh, go back to Krom so we can keep killing people. I find it funny that thieves are always out and about to steal at, like, the worst times of war. And I don't know why. It'd be one thing if they're like, ah, I'm going to scavenge weapons from the dead. But no, they actively go after chests. Except for maybe that one where the plague in general is just like, I don't care about the thieves. We'll hunt them down later. Oh, there's the reinforcements. There. Donald is God, so we cannot die. Fight and live. Fight and live. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> they come to die and perish and end. Beyblade time! Now, we could wait for all these guys to come get us, but I think we'll just, uh, go ahead and challenge the Mr. Lordman himself. In fact, let's see, Silver Sword is 11. How about we use your own weapon against you? Wait, who are we? How are you chained up with? Nah, the sprite is hard to tell. Tiki on our side, we won't die. Although that might be also be an amusing matchup. The voice of God against him. Walhart! Prince! Will you surrender? Don't waste my time with questions you know the answer to, boy. Listen to me. It did not have to be this way. You believe in mankind's strength. So did my sister. You believe that we are masters of our destinies. So do I. You could have joined us. Stay. Me join you? Does a Pegasus join with the flea on its back? A dragon with a cow it eats? You forget your place, boy. I am the conqueror. I will unite the world. Think again. No, I will. And not by forcing all the people to choose the sword or the knee. Roll credits. Peace will only come by stoking people's hearts. Not their fear. You think that's what you've done? What your sister did before you? No. She shouted some nonsense and leapt off a rock. Such weakness. Wrong. Wrong. Not weakness. 
strength. That one act lives on and will live on longer than all your conquests. <laughs> and longer than you will. Come then, flee and die for your peace. Now I'm angry. Him, I tried. That is one giant fucking throwing axe. But fine then. Strike him down with his own weapon. Ready? Love the battle music. Get blasted. Do you see? Often the sword is the only way. My conquest ends here. Yeah, I leveled up by killing a guy. Goodbye. My lord. My lord. Wallard's soldiers have agreed to cease hostilities. Finally. Then pull our ba men back immediately. It's strange, Frederick. Wallhart and my sister were complete opposites. One gave her life to stop a war. The other took lives to create one. And yet they both inspired those around them. Both walked a path to end all war. Both lived and died. Trying to unite the people. Yes. yes, Father. But as they say, the method is the message. Your father suffered from beliefs similar to Walhart, and his legacy is plain to see. <laughs> hmm. These are matters too weighty for this moment. There will be plenty of time for reflection now that the war is done. So are you going to rule the land now? Oh, is that a, a, another one? Gratitude. Sir Crom. A thousand thanks for every Valmies couldn't repay what you did for us. But I recovered Vert, the gemstone that was stolen from Chon Sin as a trophy. Hmm? You're giving it to me? Right. Of course, sir. It seems the fell dragon will soon threaten us all. I would feel safer knowing the gemstone was in your hands. Good. Well, then so be it. Thank you, Sairi. And let me guess, Plegia has the last one. Woot woot. Are we gonna have to fight the next boss three times in three missions before we kill them? Are we packed and saddled? Our business in Valm is finished, but we have another task ahead. One perhaps even more dire than we faced here. To your list all. And I do believe. Up! Oh, yay! More cutscenes! <sighs> I know that face. Dueling with unpleasant thoughts, are we? <sighs> you know me well, Neon. <laughs> hey, remember when Lissa first brought me here? When I met all the shepherds? And Sumia! <laughs> oh, what a day. Actually, that's my first memory in a way. Right. <laughs> I suppose so. I wish all our memories since could have been as joyful. Yeah. I know. So much needless bloodshed. So many days of pain and doubt and fighting. We would have never made it without you there to guide us, you know. Yes. Funny. I was going to say the same to you. Yeah. I guess we really are two halves of the same hole. <laughs> I've sent Frederick to search for Sable, the final gemstone. And I've been reading more about the Awakening Ritual. It seems that whoever attempts the rite must brave Naga's fire. If both body and spirit survive the agony, they are blessed with the dragon's power. Otherwise, the candidate dies. What? No, that is... Father, you must attempt this? <clears throat> Eavesdropping, young lady? So Forgive sorry. me, Father. I didn't intend to. 
I came to speak with you, but I couldn't find the right moment, and... <laughs> it's all right, Lucina. And yes, I'll be all right, too. I will withstand Naga's fire. I'm sure of it. My lord, My lord I have returned. Did you find it, or are we going to have to hunt for it? Like, go and kill people for it. Is it in Plagia? Hmm? Yes, Frederick. Did you find it? Right. I believe so, sire. King Validar has extended an invitation. He says Plagia has been guarding Sable, and now he wishes to return it to you. I don't trust that a bit. Validar. Well. They sent word to me, my lord. They must have caught wind of my search. In any case, Validar asks that you visit him in person, that he might formally present it. Perhaps needless to say, my lord, but I don't like this one bit. Right. Neither do I, Frederick the Wary. Neither do I. At best, it's selfish political maneuvering, at a time when the world can ill afford it. At worst, our run-in with those Risen last visit was no accident. But we will meet with him, send word at once. Really? My lord, are you certain that's wise? Mm. No, but we haven't time to be certain. And my sister never refused a diplomatic gesture, no matter how foul-smelling. If he doesn't give us the stone, he may at least reveal where it is. Don't worry, Frederick. I'm not walking into this blindly. We will make certain everyone is armed to the teeth. Right. Then the fire emblem, my lord, you ought at least leave it behind. No. Unless that's what Validar expects and he comes to steal of my best men away. No, it's safest with me for now. We'll learn the truth of Validar's motive soon enough. Yeah, I don't trust leaving it behind, neither. Leaving it behind is just asking for trouble. And plus, painting a big ol' target on your back. I want to see what that last place has in terms of, uh... Shopping. Does it see? Nope, just lances, axes. Nothing new or cool. But okie dokie. Before we end, we could do that, but I want to see how Knot and Yarn interact. <laughs> I still feel bad for barking at Knot like that. I should probably go apologize. Let's see, is this our tent? Yeah, I think so. Nah, hey Nah, is this a good time? What? Oh, cease it, boys. We got company. <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> Why? What? Nah, you're gonna have to initiate if you want me to. Wait a sec. Is this a kidnapping? Oi, he's seen us. Got him like a fish, boys. <laughs> you can try, scum. <sighs> you all right now? You seem pretty shaken up. That was pretty bold of those bandits to sneak into camp like that. They must have thought you were just some kid they could sell into slavery. Monsters. So... Thank you. Hmm? Don't be silly. I, uh, I'm glad to lend a hand. Surprised you needed my help, though. I would think a couple scraggly bandits would be quick snack for a dragon. Nope. They snuck up and grabbed me from behind. Reached for a dragon stone, but... Yeah. Hey, no worries. Happens to us, all of us from uh, time to time. Ooh. I'm just glad you came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. <sighs> i never seen you that fierce. I didn't know you had it in you. Hmm. Eh, neither did I, honestly. Oh. I was just so scared. Even now, then I think of... When I think about could have happened... <laughs> Hey, believe me, I'm the last guy to blame anyone for being scared. You're safe now, thanks to a certain killer bunny. Trust me. You know, you really were amazing. <laughs> uh, it's nothing anyone else wouldn't have done. But if you're ever in trouble again, you know you can count on me. Mm -hmm. I will. <gasps> Sweet carrots, it feels good to play the hero for a change. Darn it, now I'm, now I'm torn. Do I want to send Yarn with Na or Lucina? I've been pairing him with Lucina a lot, but... Pairing up the beast stone and the dragon stone, man. But I want to see. Yeah, they're very limited. On who? Ah, but they can team up with Nah. But not. That's weird. Tiki has. Like, conversations with Nah, but not with Naui. Noe. Huh. Oh, yeah. I'm split. Because that was a very nice A rank. 
I wonder what the CS rank could be. Meanwhile, Lucina and Yarn's, like, A rank felt like it was, like, uh, felt like it could be the end. But Yarn and Nas, S rank. Like, it feels like that would be a continuation. I kind of want to see. I'll save it. And, uh, I'll do them back to back to see, like, who is good. Ba 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 da ba da. I do believe that that will be it for now. We went for a longer time because I was just like, come on, let's go, let's finish it, let's do more. But next time, I feel like we are going to be entering the end. Like maybe the last six to ten chapters or something. I don't know. It feels weird to wonder about. Why is their castle built into a skull, it looks like? Weird. But yeah, I, it feels like we're going to enter into the possible end. So we might just do that next time and just plow on through. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see. But the Valmese, like, conqueror invasion thing was pretty cool. Wallheart was an interesting enemy. Filled with a quirky mini-boss squad, including Cervantes, the tactician. I forget his name already. It definitely feels like a lot of it could have been expand. Excuse me. Feels like it could have been expanded and uh, explored more. Yeah, but I guess that's what fan fiction is for, I suppose. And it's interesting that we got like two more like recruitable characters there. Uh, I forget her name. The war master who basically recruited us into the resistance, and then Tiki. And then Tiki was a paralogue, a very hard paralogue, I would say. If it weren't for my grinding, I'm fairly certain that uh, Tiki would have been dead. Then again, she comes with a Dragonstone Plus, so... Suppose, suppose. But yeah, I like the characters, I like the story. Ah, oh, but Basileo died. Why do I have a feeling that, like... Every leader is going to die. Except for Krom. Why do I get the feeling that, like, Flavia is going to die in this upcoming thing? But she's not coming with us. She probably went back to, ne uh, Ferox. So, I just wonder what's going to happen. I don't even know if there's much space for more, like, missions. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Because it is extra interesting, but so the fire emblem is the shield, and it's only like control, like activated by the stones. So I'm just wondering, like, what is Validar's plan? Because. This, I think, is, like, the main overarching plot that everything is kind of pointed to. So, the world, everything began with that premonition in which Krom and the Avatar went and killed Valadar. But Valadar, like, sent out a curse which hit the Avatar, who then killed Krom, and then the Avatar heard Valadar's voice in their head. And then we woke up and we consider that a premonition. The other, the, and then we presumably have, like, the Mark brand of Grima. And Tiki hasn't told us shit. But yeah. And then there's the Hierophant, like, Plagian tactician. Who looks like me. And is apparently Validar's daughter. Or could just be an illusion meant to fuck with us, and... Because there was, like, those two moments where the Avatar got headaches. Back when Validar was trying to, like, take control and convince us to betray Krom. And then on the boat. Probably when we were trying to think on the premonition, I think. Because we don't really know what a versus deal is. And... We know that Validar was 
killed back at the capital, Alistol, but then saved by somebody, monster person, that claims to be Grima. Or maybe Grima's will or whatever. And they've been helping him. So that's what the Hierophant could actually be, a disguised, uh, like, agent of Grima, maybe. Or it could still be the weird thing where... I don't know. I don't know what's real or not. Because I don't know if the premonition actually was a future thing and we fell to the past somehow. Like, maybe... Hmm... I'm just trying to think. Because it would make everything so weird. Everything is weird. Everything is weird. Everything, everything, everything is weird. But that'll be it for now, and we will hopefully discover some truths next time. And see how long it is. Maybe it'll go to chapter 25. Maybe it'll go to chapter 30. Who knows? But yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel with scripts and stuff called Neon Icy Wings, where videos, reviews, essays, those kind of things are made. And I swear I'll eventually make some. Uh, I just keep getting distracted and brain not liking the work good. Mm. And then, if you prefer, like, more of this, you can follow me on Neon Icy Games, where I live stream as well as upload the VODs and other recordings of me enjoying video games. So if you want to watch me play, like, Ace Attorney Trilogy live, you can. Or you can go into the backlog and watch me play Mass Effect Trilogy, Kareem the Forgotten Land, Undertale, so many games. Even all the way, 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 way back for uh, a decent chunk of, uh, what is it called? Super Mario Odyssey. In the, in the before years. The bad times. But if you prefer to watch me play games live, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. And if you like my little character in the corner, you can see me upload art to various art websites like Twitter. Twi uh, not Twitch. They don't have an art gallery. Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Tumblr, P Pillowfort, Inkblot, so many sites. And all the links to those sites can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, with direct links to my link tree being in the various descriptions, bios, and link places of the sites. Also in my link tree is links to my writing, if you want to read what I have various things to write about for stories. And then if you feel kind, you can throw me a dollary do through Patreon to help protect me against the evils of the world. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.